Good day, everyone. Today, let's talk writing introduction in your research paper. Before we begin, let's recall the parts of a research paper. We have the title, author, abstract, introduction, methods, results and discussions, conclusions, and references. In our previous video, we discussed already the title, which is written on top of the research paper, author, which is written below the title, and abstract. If you missed our video about writing abstract in your research paper, you can always go back so that you can follow our discussion for today. Now, let's talk about introduction. Introduction is a part of your research paper where you present your topic, problems, objectives, and background of your study. It is a part where you hook your readers to be interested in your research so that they will continue reading your research paper. The question now is how to write the introduction? What should be included in the introduction? Well, all of these are the things that we will tackle for today. Are you ready? This is an example of introduction. So what we will do now is to dissect each part. The first paragraph shows the overview of the research into the topic, then slowly introducing the main topic of the research. This is an example of an overview of the research topic. The K-12 curriculum in the Philippines is a major reform in education, which started in 2012 via Republic Act 10157 and Republic Act 10533. It is implemented because of the poor quality of basic education, congested curriculum, and no mastery of concepts, a nation 2015. Also, completion of six years elementary and four years secondary do not prepare the students for a job in terms of emotional maturity because of their young age. Comparing the educational system of the Philippines to other countries, the Philippines has 10 years basic education while most of the countries around the globe have 12 years basic education. The 10 years of basic education becomes disadvantage for Filipinos who plan to work abroad, Kabansag 2014. For experimental research, you can start by asking a question like, is gray water beneficial or detrimental to plants? In this way, your reader will be hooked to read more about your research if gray water is really beneficial or not. You may also include the background information of your research. So you may include here the related literature which is very strongly associated with your research. For instance, we have here, before the implementation of the spiral progression approach, result of a standardized test is low. Kanakan 2017 cited that a report from the American Management Association states that the United States, including Philippines, have low scores in science and mathematics in third international mathematics and science studies as compared to other countries like Singapore, Taiwan, Hungary, and Japan who got the highest scoring. Also, include the research gap your work intended to fill. For instance, you can state here, the above findings revealed a gap between the learning pedagogies used in teaching science and standardized tests. For this reason, this study was conceptualized with the following objectives. Also, include the objective problem or hypothesis of your research. For instance, you can state, for this reason, this study was conceptualized with the following objectives. Number one, what is the dominant learning pedagogy used by the respondents in terms of collaborative learning, inquiry-based learning, integrative learning, reflective learning, and technology-based learning? Number two, how effective are the learning pedagogies based on the student's academic performance? And number three, is there a correlation between learning pedagogies and students' academic performance? 
And lastly, is there a correlation between learning pedagogies and students' academic performance? Going back to my questions well ago, how to write and what to write in your research paper, these are now the answers. To sum it up, introduce the main topic. State the background of your study. You may include here some of the review of related literature or studies which are very related to your topic. Do not put or write all the related literature because we have a chapter for that. Number three, identify the research gap your study intended to fill. You may also write here the significance of your study. And finally, present your objectives, problems, and hypotheses. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to watch more videos. Have a great day!